Our second story is called Little Miss Wise, written by the same artists. Miss Wise was as wise as an owl, possibly two owls. Being so wise and sensible meant that Miss Wise brushed her teeth every day, made her bed every day, tidied her house every day, and did lots of other wise and sensible things. If you are as wise and sensible as Miss Wise, you'll know just what kind of other things she did. Miss Wise liked to go for a walk every day, a walk that was neither too long nor too short, a walk that was wise and sensible, or sensible and wise if you prefer. On her walks, she often met other people. Pen <clears throat> People who were not quite so wise, and sometimes people who were decidedly unwise. Last Monday she met Miss Naughty. Come and jump in the puddles, cried Miss Naughty, a na with a naughty gleam in her eye. But Miss Wise, being wise, refused. She didn't want to get her feet wet. On Tuesday, she met Little Miss Greedy, who was carrying an enormous cake filled with cream and smothered with pink icing. Would you like some of this? asked Miss, uh, Miss Greedy. Miss Wise refused. She didn't want an upset stomach. Mr. Went On Wednesday, Miss Wise refused to get into Mr. Busy's racing car. She didn't want to have an accident. On Thursday, she refused to go into Mr. Messy's house. If I go into his house, I will get dirty, she said to herself. But she didn't say anything to Mr. Messy. She didn't want to hurt his feelings. On Friday, she refused to play tennis with Mr. Silly. There's nothing silly about that, is there? By Saturday, Miss Wise was feeling unhappy. If I keep saying no all the time, I'll upset everybody and I won't have any friends left, she said to herself. She thought long and hard about the problem and being the wise and sensible person she is, she came with up an answer. From now on, I will say yes to everything. On, on Sunday, while she was out with, on her wise and sensible walks, or sensible and wise walks, if you prefer, Miss Wise met Mr. Mischief. He was carrying a parcel. Please accept this small present, he said to her. Hmm, began Miss Wise, but then she remembered her decision. Yes, thank you, she cried. She took the parcel and off skipped Mr. Mischief with a mischievous grin on his face. Miss Wise opened the parcel. She sneezed, and she sneezed again, and she sneezed and sneezed and sneezed all day long. She, one, she used 199 handkerchiefs. Mr. Mischief's present has been sneezing powder. Today is Monday, and Miss Wise had stopped sneezing. She is on one of her wise and sensible walks, or sensible and wise walks, if you prefer, and she had met Mr. Nonsense. Would you like to take a ride in my aeroplane? she asked. Mm, Miss Wise started to say, but then she changes her mind and exclaims, Oh, yeah, please. You think she's been very unwise, don't you? You think she should have learned her lesson by now, don't you? Well, she is safe this time, because Mr. Nonsense's aeroplane doesn't have any wings, or an engine, or even wheels. It's just a doormat. Have you ever heard of such nonsense? Time for our final story. <laughs>